hello welcome back to my channel so i apologize i didn't upload any videos yesterday i took the day off took my daughter to the zoo and also when i got home i was binge watching flavor Flav. do you guys remember that show flavor of love me and my man have been watching two episodes every night before bed and then i think we're gonna watch i love new york after that i've seen all these but it's been so long i can't remember who wins and all that and oh my gosh, I wish I would make a new season of Flavor of Love because that show has me rolling. But today we are going to talk about Rachel and Doug in the last episode of Love After Lockup. I actually heard a rumor that Rachel had a child of her own, so I asked her and she did confirm it. She actually has a 10-year-old son that lives with her, but he didn't. she didn't want him to be on the show, so she chose to just keep her son out of it. And I totally respect her for that. And the reason we saw Doug Jr. on the show is because his aunt was technically his legal guardian at the time, and she signed him on to be on the show. So Rachel and Doug, they were just hanging out on their porch. They are waiting for Rachel's mom to bring over Doug Jr. because she watched Doug Jr. their first night so they could go to the hotel and spend their first night together. And so Doug Jr., this is the first time Doug Jr. is seeing his dad since he's got out of prison this time. And so Doug finally meets Rachel's mom. They sit down, they're talking, and his mom's like, or Rachel's mom's like, well, how's everything been? He's like, oh, great, we went to a hotel. And I don't know why you had to tell Rachel's mom about the whole hotel thing, because I'm sure she can only fill in the blanks in her head what happened at the hotel. And little Dougie Jr. was coming at Doug with all sorts of smart comments. But he had me cracking up. And Doug, he did not like it. So Doug was like, what about all those girls you be talking to on TikTok? And he also said, next time you sneak Smirnoff, you're not just going to get grounded. You're going to get your butt whooped. And so Dougie Jr. was like, at least I'm not like you. At least I'm not a filthy womanizer. You've talked to like 10 different girls over the past three years. And this was all happening in front of Rachel's mom. And she was just looking like that. And so Doug was like, well, you got to filter through them till you find a good one. Then Rachel invited her mom out to eat with them. But her mom, she's politely declined and she said you know i think doug needs to re get reacquainted with his son you guys just need to have time between the three you guys and i agree and so his her mom was talking to producers and she didn't seem too excited about doug she said rachel seems very happy but my gut made me sick from the minute i met him he knows where his bread and butter is at and she said, I would hope and pray that there are no disappointments. And of course there's a disappointment because they're no longer together. Doug's current girlfriend is actually speaking out. And she said that Doug Jr. is no longer with Rachel. And she says that Doug Jr. hasn't been with Rachel in over a year since she broke up with Doug. I didn't know Rachel was the one that broke up with Doug. I thought maybe he probably ran off with another woman or something, but maybe she went through his phone or knew he was cheating on her or God knows what. Maybe he wasn't willing to grow up. But Doug's current girlfriend said she will not go into detail where Doug Jr. currently is. She just said he's no longer with Rachel. And she said she has three kids of her own. And there was a lot of speculation that Doug's new girl, this blonde we see in this picture, was possibly Doug Jr.'s mother. And she has said she's not Doug Jr.'s mom. She has known Doug for a long time because when she posted pictures with Doug revealing their relationship, she's like, I'm so glad after 12 years we finally made it back to each other or something like that. So people are like, hmm, 12 years? Doug should be about 12 right now, Doug Jr., but really, she is not his mom. She's got three kids of her own, but not Doug Jr. And Rachel's mom told Rachel she didn't really know if she liked him or not. And he really should humble himself because he isn't in prison anymore. And I do agree with that. We didn't really see him kind of like how Josh was with Courtney talking about how thankful he was. We didn't really hear him say anything like that to Rachel, especially everything she's done for Doug Jr. And I feel like she deserves a lot of praise for everything she's done, especially taking in somebody's son while they're in prison when you've never spent time with them in the real life. That is a giant sacrifice. So I commend her for that. 
And so I feel like he needed to be more grateful. Maybe he was, and maybe they just didn't show it on the TV show, but it seemed like he really needed a slice of humble pie. Then Rachel, you know, Doug, and Doug Jr., they all went out to eat, and it kind of seems like Doug is a little awkward, like he's trying a little too hard, because it seems like the last time he really interacted with Doug Jr., he was younger, and kids are a lot more easier to joke around with, but now he's a little teenager with a little attitude, and Doug kept winking at his son, and his son was like, why do you keep winking at me, weirdo? <laughs> and I was just dying. Because I remember when I was a kid, when people used to wink at me or smile at me, I used to think in my head, like, what is wrong with this person? <laughs> I'm not surprised that him and Rachel are no longer together. And like in my other video, if you haven't seen it, there's proof this girl that had receipts that Doug was talking to her while he's in prison after he married Rachel. But honestly, that doesn't surprise me. He says he's never been faithful in any of his relationships. He just gives me that whole player vibe. But while we're talking about Love After Lockup, let me go ahead and get Josh and Courtney out the way on the recap. Usually I've been making like whole videos on each couple so I can talk about their recap, spoilers, and my thoughts. But Courtney and Josh, their last episode is kind of boring between them. They're just like really hanging out. And Josh, we all remember when Courtney went over and power washed Josh's grandma's house and she was close with Josh's grandma and she said she was about to pick up Josh from prison in a few days and Josh's grandma said well don't bring him around here I'm done with him I don't want to see him I don't want to talk to him well Josh ha he really misses his grandma and when he was in prison his grandpa passed he didn't get to see his grandpa one last time or go to his funeral so that really bothers him so he really wants to rekindle his relationship with his grandma so he tried to call his grandma. His grandma actually picked up. Josh told his grandmother he wanted to come visit her the next day and she went for it. He came and visited her with Courtney and Josh sat down, had alone time with his grandma. She embraced him and hugged him and it's like things were falling right back into place. And I'm not going to lie, when I saw Josh crying about his grandmother, I kind of got teary-eyed too because I've lost all my grandparents but one. And the only one I have left is my dad's mom and my dad's past and all my other grandparents have passed. I've tried to rekindle my relationship with her and she won't. And she refuses to talk to me, anybody, my family, or even meet her granddaughter. And, you know, and it just really hurts because I've it's my last grandparent I have left. I want a relationship with them, but she refuses to because she blames my family for stuff my brother's done to her. And it just really sucks that some people got to be like that. So, and it does make me really happy to see someone get out and, you know, try to rekindle relationships with their family and work on things like that that are important instead of, you know, people who are plotting and scheming how to get over on this person or get what they can out of this person, kind of like what we see with Nicole doing to Deonte. So, it is heartwarming to see that. But, you know, at the same time, I'm not a fan of Josh because he beat up Courtney in December and went to jail. But that's it for this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you guys for all the love you've been showing me recently. And thank you so much for watching.